You know, I was just sitting there this morning praying and, you know, I, last night I woke up like three or four times last night. You know, I don't sleep very well a lot of times. I wake up two, three, four times a night because dealing with this Parkinson and stuff and some of the side effects I think from the Parkinson and from the medication they give me is um, anxiety and panic and stuff like that but you know I was thinking about it this morning and I was praying and I was just seeing some of the people you know suffering and struggling and dealing with things you know and I I know it's Christmas season and everything, but uh, you know, I was I was thinking about it this morning, and I thought about David in the Bible. In First Samuel 17, the Bible says, you know, his father told him to go to his brothers and take them some uh, cheese and all kinds of stuff, some food and stuff, and see how everything's going. And, you know, the Bible says David went down there to uh, d deliver this stuff to his brothers and see how things were going. And next thing you know, his oldest brother comes up on him and, you know, it's just like a brother. Only a brother would uh, jump you like that. And... Uh, it says that he jumped him and says, what are you doing here? Who did you leave those few little sheep with? We know your pride and the naughtiness of your heart. You come to see how the battle goes and all. And David's answer was, his answer was simple. What have I done now? You know, they accuse him of so much stuff, you know, and he's like, what have I done now? What, have I do what did I do this time? You ever been in a situation where people don't accused you of so much and always accusing you and blaming you and you're like what did I do now you know and, and that's what David was at what have I done now but then David turned around and said is there not a cause you know and that phrase just stuck with me is there not a cause you know and I just see people I see people struggling every day I see my, my beautiful little wife dealing with things that she's dealing with. And, you know, and I see people struggling with cancer and high blood pressure and sugar diabetes and, and oppression and depression. And a friend of mine, his, his uh, wife lost her son. He passed away. They found him dead. And they call me on or every so often want me to pray with them and they're grieving and having a hard time and she's had a uh, concussion a concussion from an accident over a year ago and she's still suffering from the effects of that you know and I just see people so many people just suffering and suffering with things you know and to me it's not right you know, my, my cry to God was just, God, it's not right. It's not right. It's not right you paid the price for people to receive, to walk in health, mental health and emotional health and healing in their bodies and, and you know, and healing in every area. And they struggle to partake of what Jesus has bought and paid for. It's not right. It's not right. You would never go into Walmart and buy $200 worth of groceries and pay for them and walk out the store without them. But we do it every Sunday, every day. We, we walk away having not received what Christ has paid for. And it's not right. It's not right. You know, and I, my cry is just like David, is there not a cause? Will, will we not rise up and, and pay the price and cry out to God for these people? You know, and I just think about John Knox. I love it, church history with all those old reformers and 
revivalist and those old men and women of God. You know, when I think about John Knox, his prayer, he cried out to God. God, he, you know, his cry, you know, he was, is there not a cause? He would cry out, God, give me Scotland or I die. Give me souls or I die. You know, and the Queen of England said, I fear nothing in this world except for the prayers of John Knox. Man, what would happen if somebody said that about us? That they don't fear nothing but our prayers. You know, but I don't even know, you know, I don't know if we, you know, that we've gotten to the place in our prayer life, in our prayers, where the enemy fears our prayers you know and I just I just was thinking about that thing and just thinking about people and I love watching those videos of A.A. Of, uh, a. A. Allen the miracles that he uh, walked in I don't, I don't know if there's anybody today that walked in the miracles that that man of God and William Branham Jack Coe Catherine Coleman, Smith Wigglesworth, those people that they walked in and in their day. And you know, uh, most of the time I get hit with uh, anxiety and panic attacks in the middle of the night when I'm all alone by myself trying to sleep. But you know, I, I cry out to God daily. And it's, God is not right. It's not right. But for whatever reason, or other that I may have not have partaken of it like I sh like I should, I will, I will, and I'll and I'll reach the heart of God for others, and I'll make the enemy pay and make him wish that he'd never touched me, and touched my family, and my friends, and others. And I just wanted to bless y'all with that. And y'all be blessed and have a good day. And I'm praying for you and I'm lifting you up. And just be blessed in Jesus' name.